Welcome to IMHO. Ooh, in my homosexual opinion. I'm Darby. And I'm Alexis P. Bevels. The P today stands for Pigeons Don't Fly with Eagles, bitch. Yeah, Real Housewives Ultimate Girls Trip Rony Legacy premiered today. It's Dorinda, it's Luann, Sonia, and Ramona. And then it's Kelly Cole and Ben Simone and Kristen Takeman. Remember her? Her husband was hot. Yeah, he still also hot. Hated her. And they're he still together. Hated her. They're he still together her. and they live in LA. You're still off Housewives, but I'm just telling you, it's Roni Legacy and it's already so good. And Dorinda said that to Kristen. She goes, pigeons don't fly with eagles. So get your breadcrumbs, bitch, and then come talk to me. You know the reason we have pigeons in cities? Why is because we domesticated we them. We domesticated them and then we didn't need them anymore because we had phones. Yeah. And now they're just like our rats. They're flying rats now. And it's our fault. Yeah. I think no, we all need to Mike take is a... pointing directly at you and I'm worried about that. I think we need to. I think to... it'll pick up all of your your stories. <laughs> I just want to make sure it's more centered. Bitch, you miss me. Tell the truth. I feel like I haven't been here in two weeks. Okay, but I felt very excited when you came over and we missed that. I know. We need to miss each other. We do. That's part of well, it. Well, that's the point of it. So sorry we had to miss last week. I wasn't feeling well. I'm feeling much better now. Everything is a-okay. Did you watch the meatball episode? You probably didn't. You had, what meatball episode? Girl, you had a phone call in the middle of the episode. Okay, here's the thing. <laughs> Here's the thing. I watched a little bit of it. You oh, know it I don't you like watching horny. drag stuff. Yeah, I know. That's true. <laughs> it makes you really perfect for this show. <laughs> yeah. and no, I heard to. you guys had a good time. Was it like the top rated episode so far of anything? Yes. <laughs> Of course Listen, it was. when you're gone, people don't know what to do. People okay? love it. They freak out. Well, no, I think they're lost and they're like, I guess I'll watch this. I don't know. And then they pass out and it just keeps playing. Yeah. You know? Also, no, I think Meatball they... is so good. I was, I, not to like, uh -oh. just an observation. I was not feeling well on, we'll say, a Thursday. And then Darby was like, well, do you want to just push? And I was like, really? Is that okay? And you were like, yes, of course. And I was like, okay. And then she texted and said, oh, you know what? I'm going to get Meatball to do it. So I figured they were going to do it that day. But then you ended up filming the next day, and I would have uh -huh. been fine to come film. Well, I didn't know that you said but you, you didn't know that. Crying. But I was crying. I wanted to give you plenty of time to cry alone. I was crying. Because when you cry, it really affects me negatively. I also, I don't know it what affects to do, me negatively. So I just shiver. I do think I'm allergic to my tears. I think you're allergic to your emotions. And yeah. I think that's healthy. Well, the Turn point it is, off. The point is, like a light switch. Can we have Meatball back on for the, with the both of us? Because I do want to play with her one day. I would love that. Do you think we'd have a repeat of the most recent sloppy seconds if that were the case? Because you know we're talkers. You have to jump in. Okay. I try jumping in. Try again. I want to say. I'm not victim blaming, I wanna but say, it is your fault. I want to say. Because I know how to do with you. Yeah. It was harder with the two of you together. Right. And she was on four Red Bulls, I think. Yeah, it was wild. I'm not blaming anyone. I did kind of give up in the middle because I was like, oh, fuck. I'm not saying anything. I'm being so bad. But you giggled. And I did get in my head. But... Got in your head in a podcast? Yeah. Okay. We got I another podcast speak. in a few weeks, so you got to warm up. I know. This one's really exciting. You too. could also. What, we could also maybe just like. You want me to stop talking? Not. But there's fully. So, but the, then there'd be so many pauses. But no. But I'm just trying you to could save just... it for the. You know, we'll talk about it. We can practice. <laughs> mm hmm. I have something very important that I need to talk to you about. Okay. And that is. My VPN. Oh, that was I your just transition? Don't, okay. I just don't know how to get it, it to where I need it to be. You're talking about your IP address. What is it? Okay. The sponsor of today's video is... Surfshark! Surfshark. Now, Surfshark is a VPN. You got that right. And it can move your IP address around the world. That's so what that I meant. You can, yeah. That's so you what can I go meant. to countries and you can see their stuff. Obviously, American TV is fine, but... Have you ever watched TV with accents? It's hilarious. My favorite accent is the one that's not American. Oh yeah, Canada. Also, a VPN doesn't just move your shit around, it also keeps your shit safe. Because there are 
Internet criminals. Criminals who are too lazy. Scammers. It's for criminals who are too lazy to leave the house. So they're going to hack into the system. You've seen the net? Well, it's really Cinderella. hard to it's commit like crime lately because there's cameras everywhere. There's security systems in CCTV. place. CCTV. CCTV. Mm. Yeah, um, CC's Pizza. You can't just go around like robbing banks like you used to. Even with a mask or a bandana across your mouth, like we're supposed to be doing that technically still. Oh. But they can still recognize you. So you can't commit those crimes. People are taking their crimes online from the safety behind their computers. Okay, it does screens. sound like you're encouraging people to do it. That's well, that's why I'm encouraging okay. us to get Surfshark okay. to protect ourselves from these trolls. Because you made it sound so enticing to them? Yeah, Surfshark can keep you safe from the people she just recruited and it can move you around to other countries and isn't that fun? And you can try it today. All you have to do is use code IMHO at checkout and you get three... Oh! Sorry, I scared myself. I'm sorry to interrupt you, beautiful model and Alexis, but I have a little surprise for you. It's the holiday season. So if you use code IMHO at checkout, it's not three months free. Not the usual three months free, which is great. Three months free is great, but you can get up to six months free. Three times two is six, so that's double. And the best part about it is there is a 30 day money back guarantee. So you're not really losing anything unless you forget about the 30 days. Sometimes I forget things. Yeah, you people just a set a reminder. Oh yeah, you have a phone and Surfshark can protect your phone too. So go ahead and head over to Surfshark and um, keep sharking today. Surf. Surfshark does it better. Surfshark does it right. Surfshark today. How was your week? Good. Mine was too. Listen, Curtis and I had our wedding anniversary. Oh yeah, how was that? I know that you never know when that is or what year even. It was our two year anniversary. Okay. The 11th? Okay. The 11th? Yes. <gasps> I have to show you the present he got me. Hang on. Oh my God. Don't look at my butt. Fine. It's fine. I, I talk sometimes. A lot. A lot of people say that I talk too much. In fact, it was a okay. dynamic and I was off. Okay, everyone has an update. What is this? The two year anniversary. Oh, he told me about this. Is cotton. Yeah, you've seen it, I think. He said that you saw it before me, which didn't thrill me. We said that we were gonna get a soda stream, so we stopped buying so much bubbly as our, our anniversary present. Very suburban, very hip, very now. And then the anniversary rolls around, he hands me a present. And I said, we weren't doing presents and I abide by rules. You know I hate to break a rule, okay? Yeah. Luckily, he did apologize for getting me a present mm -hmm. and I accepted his apology and ultimately the present. Y'all, look at this shit. It's a JB sweatshirt. Now it does look like she's dead, but she's not. She's just not a very smiley dog, okay? Isn't that cute? Curtis doesn't do these kinds of presents. That's why I'm saying something has happened. Something has changed within him. Something is more thoughtful. Anyway, I love it. I'm obsessed. And um, I did end up ordering him a gift that did show up today. So, and I took the receipt out of the box and I said, I ordered this weeks ago. It just came, sorry. What was it? I never say it right. Basqua. Oh, Basquiat. They had a big show for him downtown. It was incredible and there was a hat in there that Curtis really wanted and he went back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. So then when I realized, oh, it's a cotton anniversary, I got him a cotton hat. Oh, that's cute. It's really cute. Yeah. We got on the LA restaurants, 101 best LA restaurants and Curtis picked a pasta place because he knows who I am as a person. And I gotta say, the restaurant was adorable. I don't ask for a lot because my husband is a server. So I'm an over tipper. I am also a millennial. So I apologize after I say anything. I'm a very easy client. What do they call us? Customer? Yeah. However, the one thing I cannot abide, the one thing that drives me up the wall is being completely ignored after we sit down. If you have not come and at least said, I'll be right with you in the first 10 minutes, I want to leave because yeah. I just feel like, oh, I was sat, you know, they weren't expecting me and like blah, blah, blah. This restaurant was number 14 on the list of best restaurants in LA and no one came to see it. Like literally 10 minutes, we're just sitting there. I was like, I kind of want to leave, but like, I know you want to stay. And finally it was the sommelier who came over and was like, hi, do you have any questions about the wine? And I was like, do we have a server? And he was like, oh, uh, yeah. 
I can do that for you. So then the entire night, what am I doing? Hi, sorry, sorry, I know you're not a server. Can, I'm so sorry, can I have a fork? I'm so, sorry, can I have a napkin? I'm not kidding you. I'm not gonna say their name, I don't wanna put them on blast, but they yeah. are number 14 on the list of 101 best LA restaurants. Yeah, no, absolutely not. Anyway, glad you're back. Should we drag? You yeah. la. Yeah, sure. Drag you la. Drag you la. So JK finally dies. JK finally, I'm so sad. Can Goodbye. I say though? I, for, they tapped out. I didn't know they tapped out. They didn't finish the elimination challenge. Oh yeah. Isn't that wild? You know, I think it was. They were so worn out. They had been fighting for their life the entire time and the cast was just yeah. bullying them into the ground. So I think they were like, fuck this, I'm going home. I don't wanna be in pain. But it was to who would go longest. So they both tapped out eventually. Oh, I thought it was like they yeah. turned it all the way up to the top. Oh, no, okay. so it was okay, just okay. who, but yes. That's not so bad, so not in the same right. sense of like, they were giving quit. up. They both tapped out, one just lasted longer, possibly. You know, we never really see the <laughs> exterminations in their entirety. It's all still kind but of... don't you think that Fantasia would outlast anyone, I think? Yeah. She's a... Well, I almost called her a monster, but that's what they all She's are. a woman. And she, She's a womanly she monster. Knows how to, it's very famously that women's pain thresholds are higher than them's. As a cis man myself, I agree. JK's finally gone. We're I'm in relieved the log for table them. room. Yeah. They kind of start with like a who is Blackberry. They still don't get it, but also Blackberry won. So I didn't think that was like a... It's all so contrived at this point yeah. that I don't really pay attention to any of it, but you I did what? enjoy. Yes, Orc and Neo. Yes, I, I love the want love to story. See this. Now, you sometimes love stories in drag shows are like okay. Yeah. But I love this one, and I can I be honest? I, I want like a children's, like an illustrated children's book of their love for adults. Because isn't she sort of like a goth fairy princess, and Orc is like a weirdo Demon. little gremlin? But goblin. children's books were you reading? But I just love the love story and I, I love, love love, love and they're so cute you know I love orgotic I really do I am getting a little turned off by the attitude and then oh. and then them producing kind of the same look over and over I am getting a little tired of that but that is that's my right as a, an AMC plus member I don't know they're not my favorite monster right now but who's your favorite Neo yeah, Neo. Without a doubt. Neo's probably I think Neo has everything going for her. I just think yeah. she is the most well-rounded. And this episode, she had a lot of rounds, okay? Oh yeah, for sure. I really, I really love Cynthia Dahl. I know she hasn't won anything yet, but oh, I'm, I'm just obsessed with her as a we personality. Get to the end of this episode, you're gonna be devastated. The main challenge is gonna be a 80s haunted house classic monsters with a black light reveal. So they have to have two separate looks, one being revealed by the black light. And the fright feet is they have 10 minutes with 99 cent store makeup. Halloween makeup. To do a face. 10 minutes. You know, it famously takes me only 15 minutes to get fully into drag. Yeah. Out of the two of us, mm -hmm. I'm the fastest. I did actually, someone asked me that question today. They were like, how long does it take you? And I was like, if I had my way, three hours. You like to take your time because you really are into the details. Yeah. You like to go in. Details you like with to, your ritz. I just kind of like to play and also like to do leave it. till the last minute. Cause sometimes I think, and I need to figure out a different way in life, but sometimes I think if I don't have enough time, I won't be able to second guess the result. And the end result will be better than if I had spent more time on oh, it. Oh, I get that. I feel that. I understand that. Yeah. But I have lines and they, they're there and they're, they're sharp. So, yeah. Coco Kane comes back. Yes, Coco Kane. I guess Coco has moved in and so she's just the closest. I think she lives in one of I the I think caskets. she's the hotel like liaison or whatever. Well, whatever she is, she looked incredible. Yeah. I really didn't understand why she was there, but it was funny. Cause what was the reason they gave that she was back a second time? Coming back the first time made a lot of sense to me. Coming back a second time and truly, just like the first time, all she's doing is repeating the directions that the blue, blue, the, the blues, blues just do. said. I don't mind. Every episode, one of the guest judges has been a former contestant. So I feel like they're trying to like keep it in the family and give people more screen time and bring back familiar faces. I don't know. I like it. And I, I, love I like it. I do like it. 
You just want to know why. I just want to know why. I want there to be a reason. For a show that loves a story, for a show that loves fantasy, Coco Kane's presence is lacking all of it. Yeah. Give her a backstory. Say that she, her house burned down. Now she lives in a casket in the basement. That's hilarious. Yeah. Throb Zombie wins by painting a pumpkin face. He is the pumpkin king. But the funniest one for sure was Neo had everything like glued to her face and Blackberry goes, where'd she get glue? And then they cut to her talking head and she goes, I had glue hidden in my wig. <laughs> <laughs> That was so good. Not only did Throb win, Throb won immunity. Oh, immunity. That's something we haven't seen in a while. Not since Survivor. They used to do that in the early seasons of Drag Race. I kind of love that, though. I think it's fun. I like taking some of the pressure off. Well, or some would even say the power from the judges. Yeah. Because it makes you feel, even though we have nothing to do with it, it does make me feel like an audience member that, like, I'm in on it. I love the boules. They're in these white moments. I love them in lighter colors because we never see them in like bright white. And the last time we saw them, they had those ugly hats and it was very distracting. What were they? I hope they burn them. I hope they have like a video no, where they burn them. No, I hope them. they keep them. And I hope someone explains to me what they are because still I've been keeping up with the comments. No one knows. I don't think they're anything. I think they're art. Then what are they? Art. I do not accept that. I well, do not accept luckily, that. Well, luckily, we didn't have to accept that with these because they had the cute yeah. little wigs with the little... I Did love they the were, little strings they were like, down. Yeah, they were like ghosties. I also, I want to shout out, they've been doing these like fun transition things with their hands. I love that. I love, I'm a hand girl. I love that. I love yeah, when people have fingers. Me too. But the funniest part of their outfits, they're sitting down and because it's like a UV light challenge and they're like, oh, we're in all white. I wonder if we glow. There's only one way to find out. And they turn the lights out and they don't glow. And one of them goes, oh. <laughs> yeah. And they left that in. I love, I live for the, let's just figure it out as we go along. Uh, vibe. Vibe. Thank you. Let's go to the floor show in alphabetical order. We're going to start with Blackberry. Blackberry was like a sarcophagus, ancient Egyptian vampire. And then she opened up her doors and inside was black light. I loved it. I did. I thought they stressed yeah. that they needed to be two separate. And Looks, I didn't think yeah. this was separate, but it was still really beautiful and cool. I agree. When she came out and she revealed into that, I was like, oh, that's super cool. I can't wait to see like what she does with the UV lights. And then the UV lights really just reiterated what the fuck was on the thing. And I did say like, oh, I didn't think that was the prompt, but, but cool. It looked cool as fuck. Yeah. And let's be honest, there are some monsters who never follow the prompt. So if you're True. not going to follow the prompt, at least do it cool. Yeah. And that's what she did. She kept it real cool. I, mean, I imagine it's really cool inside the pyramids. Right? No, it's hot. Inside e the pyramid, Egypt's though. Egypt's hot. But like, when you first open it, it's been in the dark for so long. And under all that stone. I don't understand pyramids. And now I, I'll never probably get to go to one. Why? I don't think they like me over there, do they? In Egypt? You need to believe in yourself. Well, there's believing right in yourself. Right from the start. And then there's being like conscious about the way the world thinks about you. I, you don't have to because you're a white man. But Thank you. Yeah. That means so much. Right. Thank you for saying that. You're welcome. Cynthia Dahl. Well, the way the world feels about her is that she's adorable. Uh, same thing. It don't, I don't think it was two separate things, but I loved how bright and vibrant it was. Yeah, I wasn't thrilled that it was basically just kind of a raver outfit, which I think every judge said as well. But... I just simply adore her. Do I think that she made a mark on the runways or on the on the floor on the what is it? Floor it's show. The floor show. This season? No. I think no. there was a reason she was always safe because she just kind of ran the middle of the pack. But she did make a, a mark she's an icon. on my mind. Yeah, I love her. Because she said the best thing anyone's ever said on television. She said Alexis, you're eliminated. A cube is a circle, right? A half a cube is a circumference? <laughs> yes. And honestly, the only answer to that is yes. Yeah, now it is, bitch. I love her. I love her. I'm obsessed. I don't think we're... I, I think she's here to stay. I think there are certain drag personas. I need her on my TV again. That's for damn sure. I don't want to be without her. Well, she we better have, be on my TV again. We have internet. You can use that. She's on that. So I don't have internet right now. It's something about you have to pay for that every month. I didn't know that. So I was wondering if I could borrow just a few dollars so I could kind of 
And then I go watch this show. Can I see you back here for just a second? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think you asking for money is something that is like, I think it's the longest running bit that you have. And I listen, I love your comedy. Yes, thank you. But I am oh. really tired. <laughs> I'm very, very tired. Yeah. So can we just call this bit done, right? No more asking for money. It's just, it's not funny anymore. Right. Can I see you back here for a second? Are you guys mad at me about that? Can I see you back here for a second? <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> Of course not. Um, oh, speaking of internet, okay, can I tell y'all? I went to the coffee bean last night. I know, coffee uh, at, at night, what the fuck? There was an old man in there, I wanna say 70s. He's sitting in the back corner. He's talking very loudly on his phone, and then he starts screaming. I haven't had internet for a month. I need fucking internet. And he's screaming that he needs uh, internet. He needs internet. I'm on the other side uh, of the bean, if you will. I'm drinking my coffee, I'm loving it. I'm having the time of my life, I'm getting a show. Clearly, like the person on the other end of the line was like, I'm gonna hang up if you keep yelling. And he goes, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Please don't end this call. I just need internet. Please don't end this call. And so he got real quiet and I was like, oh, okay. So he threw a tantrum, he got called out and then he was fine. Then the person ordering their drink at the exact same time that this is happening says something about Starbucks. I don't know if they were like, this is what I usually get at Starbucks. Do you have something similar? You know, it was like that kind of conversation. We've all had that recently, right? So he says that and then the old man while on hold goes, I know you didn't say Starbucks in here. We don't use the fucking S word. Don't use the S word. So then the guy at the register, like behind the counter was like, sir, if you're gonna yell, you have to get out. And if you're gonna take a phone call, you need to leave. Like you can't yell. And he goes, I'm not yelling. And he's like, you just yelled for five minutes. We all heard you stop yelling. Oh, I love you know that guy. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I won't yell. That made me so hard. And then the guy got back on the phone. He doesn't start yelling, but he's loud. Like he just has one of those like boomer voices, you know, they boom. All it took was the guy behind the counter leaning over and looking at him. And the guy goes, and he got up and went outside. Anyway, so I fucked the guy behind the counter. I want to fuck that guy behind the counter He was already, so hard. like, really cute. Of course but he But then is. when that happened, I, I was mean. like, oh my God, I will, I'll clean it. I'll clean that cock. Till the cows come home or whatever. They make it dirtier. Yeah. Because of the mud. How did we get here? Oh, let's talk about Fantasia Royale Gaga's snake. Again, it was the same thing, but it was a snake before and after the black light. Sort of. But after the black light, you could see her skeleton under the snake's skin. So it looked like she had been swallowed. And I did appreciate that. Oh yeah, that's cool. That was funny. I liked it. It just sucks that there were some issues with the... The no shoes is the issues. Well, yeah, her feet were hanging out of the middle of it, which was kind of crazy. And then also the back seam wasn't fully shut. So when the black light came on, you just saw this like these white strips down her back, which sucked. Uh, but... Oh, yeah. I thought it was cool as fuck. I thought it looked great. Can I say this? Please. I love Fantasia. I am so impressed with her. I did not expect this from her. I really, I'm sorry. I expected her to be an incredible performer. I expected to see some great fucking drag. I did not expect her to go so monster with it. Yeah. And I know like Throb, who has an opinion on everyone apparently, I know that Throb's saying like, I'm still not seeing the messy, the monster. Yeah, maybe not seeing it to the same degree, but bitch, she's challenging herself. And I think she's winning that challenge. Yeah. Throb. Speaking of Throb, I'm absolutely throbbing for Nia Huru X. <laughs> Speaking of Throb, Nia Huru X. Thank I am you. Absolutely oh, I like obsessed. Nia Huru got in touch with her mask side. This was fucking cool. It was hilarious. Yeah. I knew she won because when they were doing like the, you know, they do the nasty part where everyone's fucking up their costumes and shitting and eating it or whatever. They stayed on Neo for a, a extended Cause period of time. Because Neo was fucking that, whatever that was. Hot. Yeah. What did you think of Neo's little mask lesson with Throb Zombie earlier in the episode? Charming. Uh-huh. However. Yeah. I think I've throbbed out. Well, you throb too hard, you get lightheaded. Exactly. And I'm yeah. very, I'm very lightheaded. I don't even know if I have a head anymore. Yeah. I, I might be circumcised. I don't know. Right. Yeah, I, I don't like, I, they have so much to say about everyone and everything. Yeah. It drives me nuts. When they, am I crazy? No, I feel like you're not crazy. I feel like when people have comments on everyone, it's like, make sure your own house is 
picked up before you comment on other people's houses? Uh, your side of the street, is it clean? Because you're saying all these things as if you are untouchable, but you have yet to do a prop the way you envisioned it. And we're saying this fully as people who have dirty houses ourselves. Oh my God. Well, I did Try and come at us, try it. I d Cause we'll crumble quick and crumble. I did clean my house. Oh, Cause weird. as I mentioned, it's the first time in a long time that or ever, ever in this apartment that I've had it completely to myself. I cleaned, I got it exactly how I want it. It is so nice. I'm and so I'm having such a, a nice time living in that gorgeous house. Maybe your roommate will die in a plane crash and then you won't no, have to change. No, I don't want what? her to. I don't want her to. Listen, I don't know y'all's vibe. But I was going to say, you know, I lived undercover as a man for a while. You were a spy. I was a spy. I was a spy kids. If you wanted me to give you a lesson in masculinity, like I just, I've taken notice of, you know, you're just sort of, you're very feminine and I think that's gorgeous. But if you ever wanted to try something a little different, I could give you a lesson right now oh, so for free could, of charge. I could go back and actually talk to my family and they'd be proud of me. That and like you could go back to that restaurant. I'm sure a server would be there right away because they'd be so threatened. Because I'd be so masked. They'd be so okay, scared. Okay, I'll take it. You're right. Okay, I'll so take it. Throb Zombie did the Dorito method, which is really great. That's a fabulous method. I personally subscribe to the sour cream and cheese Pringles method or sour cream and onion Pringles, Pringles method. Of all the chips, you chose Pringle? Well, listen, they're stacked. I so, am, so am I, honey. That's exactly. I, so so I, what I, I want you to do is roll those shoulders. Oh, can I take a sip of my man yeah, juice? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, mm. It's man juice, but it's really just, it tastes like a pussy. Yeah, okay, ready? Roll those shoulders back. Roll those shoulders back. Oh my God, everything's <laughs> cracked. Did you hear it? Yeah. <laughs> now roll them back and then leave them back there. And I want you to kind of like do this, like... Well, I'll smear my boopsie, so I'm not gonna do that. Well, you can pretend. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then I want you to kind of scratch your balls, like scratch underneath, like do scratch -ums. They're almost out. They are almost out. <laughs> Y'all don't understand, it's so difficult. Because she I- She likes wearing tiny shorts. Well, no, and they're shorts that were made for cis women, okay? And that's not her fault. And that's fine, but listen, I need ballroom. Yeah. Uh, Clack it, clack it, clack it. Okay, 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 so scratch him. Now pretend you're back at that restaurant. What okay. was it? Pasta? Spaghetti uh -huh. warehouse. And I want you to say, Yo, I want a table for two. Okay? Okay, okay. okay. No, don't cross your legs. Okay. Shoulders back. They're as back as they can go. Yeah. Hey, uh, huh, I, uh, I heard you got good pasta. Give me a table so I can put your sauce in my mouth, and then I can spit it into my girlfriend's pussy. She loves marinara on her lips. <laughs> this is how the straight guys talk. And then she has to wipe front to back. That do the nose. And scene. I think it worked. You know what, we'll work on it. What? Up next is gonna actually gonna have, gonna to, have go to go ahead, ahead and, and be, be... orcagotic. Now, what was orcagotic? I don't know. No one knows. Um, no one ever knows. Yeah. There have been very few, and again, I love orcagotic, so shut up. But there have been very few floor shows where they have come out and I immediately knew that's the prompt. Thank you, you did it. <laughs> now, listen. It's always really random and strange. It's not ever really very clearly a part of the prompt. But it's always really interesting and cool. Yes, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but like there's a fucked up monster inside of this brain. But I would love to see... How you get from A to B. Yeah, I'd love to see them get the assignment and then do the assignment. I think that'd be fun. Just to show some, like, ver versatility. Sure. Well, let's talk about Throb Zombie. I actually thought Throb Zombie did really well. Yeah, I thought they were cool kind of, fuck. he was kind of the only one that had a different, because he was a priest, and then yeah. he was the demon that was inhabiting the priest. And then he was the priest again, and then the demon, and it was so cool, the cathedral on the back. Listen, earlier we said you can't throw spooky stones in your glass house, but this episode you certainly could, because... He killed it. It was so cool. Yeah. Listen, if all I knew about Throb were the floor shows, I think Throb would be at the top of my list. Yeah. But getting to know his personality. 
Not for me. We do have a winner. It is Neohuru X. It's gonna have to go ahead and be. Congratulations. You tapped into your mask side and then you tapped into a win and that was fun. I would love to go to and look at titties with you anytime. Have you ever seen this show called, it was on Stars, so it's no. horny. And it's called Blood and, no. Flesh and Bone. Or Flesh and Blood. Have you seen it? It's like Black Swan as a TV show. She is a ballerina that goes to a strip club and starts dancing at the strip club Hot. to pay for ballerina school. Ballerina school is so expensive. Yeah. And they're all so thin. Yeah. I just wanted y'all to know. So we find out the bottom two are Orgotic and Cynthia. Rightfully so. I had no issue with that. Yeah. Anything in the cauldron stand out to you? Uh, no. I'll tell you one thing that stood out to me is Fantasia Royale oh, yeah. doing the anonymous confessional and she was, you could barely... And then she, <laughs> and goes, then she goes, and that is why I, Fantasia Royale Gaga. Or my name isn't Fantasia. <laughs> and she goes, oh shit. <laughs> She's so funny. She's a camp icon on a horror show with big old titties. You no, know, I have a really hard time saying horror. It always sounds like whore. Horror. I don't oh, think whores are scary. You say what you I are. I them. Whore. So their extermination, their extermination you is- tell me what this was? It's a laser maze. Okay, okay, but it wasn't really a maze. It was a grid. It had a maze. They just couldn't see it. They didn't know what it was. So it had so they correct- they had to walk from block to block and they had to walk through one of the lasers That on wouldn't the block. zap you. And Did they have collars on? Is that when they knew they were zapped? Is honestly, it like, I don't know. Because I, I think it was just a laser grid and someone picked out the path that they should be going on. Yeah. And then when they didn't do it right, they shocked him in the collar. Cause they were saying like, my neck is starting to hurt. And That's they were like touching their neck. Completely. I thought you said you didn't understand it. That was right. Okay. It looked painful. I don't ever want to get shocked. But what killed me was the blue, the blueies. The blueies. I can't say that either. Those big old blueies. They said, <laughs> if you pass out, if you go unconscious because it's so painful, you you're eliminated. Automatically are eliminated. Getting eliminated for passing out due to pain? What the fuck? What is this? Childbirth? This girl I went to high school with died in childbirth. Was she the one with red pumps and flare jeans? No, she was college. Oh. You know she what? never got to give birth. Mm. Not because she died, I think she was just barren. We find out Cynthia is dying, which is sad because I love her as a TV character. Yeah. But as we're getting down to the tops, I understand it. You know what reunion I won't be missing? Oh yeah. This one. Yeah. Because I want I want to see the ghost. We the ghost. never we never cover the reunions because they're really just highlighting things that have already happened. Yeah, it's like it's a like, clip show. It's fine. Yeah. But Dragula. But Dragula? Yeah, it's different. They always bring it. It hits. Yeah. It hits. She dies, she gets sawed in half, or at least we're led to believe that. I don't know what the bullies actually did to her. I that was like a good death. It. I've always wanted to act in a film where you like are like running and looking over your shoulder and scared. We can make that happen. Okay. Pass me those giant scissors over there and mm. then close your eyes. That is yet another Dragula. Alexis, were you spooked? Were you scared? Are you sorry that you came back? No, I had a great time. I loved it. I wasn't spooked. I wasn't scared. And um, it feels good to be back. You know, Webster's defines the word home. So if you would like to watch more Dragula with us, go ahead and hit that subscribe button according to the notification bell. Join us on Patreon at patreon.com slash IMH of the show. We're <laughs> you want to finish? What were you saying? What were you going to say? Thank you so much. We're also both on Cameo, so you go there. How are you going to get a Shamio? And again, holiday Shamios, it is coming to an end. So if you want a holiday Shamio in yeah. time for the holiday, the Jesus one, the real one, you know, go ahead. <laughs> oh, God. What? Jesus is Lord. Okay. When I went to a mega church, right? Yeah. My Sunday school teacher ran over a little girl named Grace. And so that when they built the big gymnasium, because it was a mega church and you have to have a gymnasium, they named it the Grace Family Life Center. Oh. Which I thought was so gross. And people play basketball inside her. Mm -hmm. Gross. Anyway, she's that's dead. That's not Grace, that's gross. All right, we'll see you next week. Goodbye. I signed up for insurance and the cutoff is today. Did you? Yeah, are you proud? I'm really proud. Yeah. That's so exciting. I have a couple of questions. Do you know anything about it? 
About insurance? Yeah. Y yeah, I, I have. So it. I I signed up for like Covered California or whatever. Yeah, right? yeah. And that I think is that's the one. Sure. I don't qualify for Medi-Cal, which is what our friend Fina Barbara Why? has. I think you make too much. Yeah. You make too much. I guess. Oh. But I'm getting all these scam calls. And yeah. the way I got it, though, was Cover California texted me and said, call this number because you only have three more days to, like, whatever. So I called and I talked to this guy. Did you Google it? I did Google it. He is a real insurance agent. Okay, okay, okay. And it is, I guess it's a real place. But I was, like, very con self-conscious of the fact that I was, like, well, first of all, I called him with, like, three days left. And he was asking me questions and he was, like, do you smoke? Blah, blah, blah. And I was, like, what? are you real? Like, is this a scam? And he was like, no, no, no. If I asked you to pay for something today, it wouldn't be, it would be a scam, but I'm yeah. not, that's, I'm just the agent. Like you can Google me. I'm on LinkedIn. And I was like, I'm going to do some research. And he kind of laughed. He's like, okay. The text that came the next day, you only have two days left. Call this number. And so I called it, but it was the same guy. And I could hear a cat in the background. I was like, wait, what is this? Are you a scam? And he was like, no. And I was like, well, where are you? Why is it eight o'clock at night? And you're like doing this. And he was like, I work from home. I work these hours. This is real. And I was like, okay. So then I gave him my social security number and my bank stuff. I really think it's real. He set me up with a thing from LA care, which is, a, I looked up, it's a real insurance place. I would have messaged him on LinkedIn and been like, hey, are you actually doing this? Too late now. I hope it's real. I hope it's real. If it's not, they don't have a lot of I don't have a lot What are of they going to do with your identity? Right. They could have it, honestly. I haven't been doing much with it, so. I hope it is. I'm going to say I was prayer. Googling as we were talking, and I was, like, looking at the place, his insurance agency. It seemed real. And it was a lot of reviews of, like, yeah, they contacted me. Oh, good. And okay. they set me up. It was really nice. Um, Isn't that a terrible world we live in where we can't trust the people who call our phones? And, oh, after I told him my height and my weight, he was, You're like. Touching my bare leg. Sorry. Okay, so just, by the way, after I put in your height and weight, it won't cover heart issues anymore. <laughs> okay, that is real. I think it's real. That's real. That's real. I Listen, think if he was real. trying to scam you, he would not have made you feel Yeah. I, and you felt awful, right? The good news is though, if I get in a car accident or die, I get $70,000. You get it where? From this like thing I signed up for. But if you die, who gets the money? No, 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 not if I die. If I get in a car accident or die, I get $70,000. Maybe like drive into like a wall, not a big wall, just a little tiny wall. Okay, maybe. That could be funny. Content. I just pulled the longest hair out of my shoulder. That's being a drag queen, yo. Okay, see you next week. Bye. Wait, it was growing out of your shoulder? Or yes, bitch. Ew. Shut up. Ew. Listen, underneath all of this, I'm a burst bottom, okay? I have things to do. Sometimes when I'm topping, they like to grab onto the hair on my shoulders. They say, ooh, ooh. And then I'm going, uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Can I lay down? <laughs>